Hey, what's going on guys? Alec Hernandez with the Miramont Group Realtor and today we're out in Callison Ranch. We're going to be checking out the last remaining model home for the New Leaf Builder. One thing about New Leaf that you may recognize, you get kind of like these dome structures that make it look like a castle. Super excited to show you this one. Right now they just did a price improvement on this property. It's going for $399,000. It is just under 2,600 square feet. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, plus a study and a two car garage. You're gonna to wanna to check this one out. It's beautiful on the inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's check it out. So on this property right off the bat, you'll notice that you get the stone and brick combo on the exterior. It is three side masonry. So you're gonna get, you know, that really astute product on the outside going at least all the way on one, two, and three sides. On the front door, you notice that it's got this wood and it also has this nice glass accent paneling that goes along with it. Making your way into the home, one of the first things to point out is you do get the wood look-alike tile. This is tile, so knock on that, you'd have to get a jackhammer or a hammer to break it and remove it. It look, makes it look really nice. When you come in, you kind of have this coat closet space right here, so whenever anybody comes in, you got coats or whatnot, go ahead and hang them right there, okay? Right off to the left, you get the dedicated study office, if you will, indicated by the French double door entry and you get the nice little lattice design with the glass in them. This is a pretty good size right here. Has the fan already installed. It's got some windows that overlook the front porch patio onto the exterior of the home right there. So when you wanna do a little bit of work, you wanna be inspired, take a look out the window, freshen up the uh, brain fog and you'll be good to go. Making your way forward into the home, it opens up into the grand living and kitchen combo. Open concept, you do have a little bit of a dining room breakfast nook offset right here with a bay window seat that looks the side of the property right there. So you could fit a little bit bigger of a table if you absolutely needed to. They kind of went with the round one right here. In the kitchen, you get the nice granite countertop, oversized island big enough to fit some bar stools on the other side if you needed to. Comes with the stainless steel appliances. You got the built-ins right here, microwave, oven, right? And then you also get a gas range cooktop in this floor plan, in this community right here on this product. You get the espresso cabinets. These are the super big ones. These are at least 42 inches. So you get that nice grand appeal. Again, going with the luxury vibe of the home. Nice backsplash that you got right here just to kind of add some accenting into the property. Right here, walk-in pantry. Big enough for all those midnight snacks that you can Crave, I know I get some cravings in the middle of the night when I wake up super thirsty. This is the cutout for your fridge, so your fridge would go right there, okay? And then you get a nice big open living area. You could fit a L sectional type of couch or sofa, right? You still have enough room probably for a chair or two on the sides, TV, uh, armoire, or like the, uh, what would, I guess what would you call it, the, uh, the console right there you have plenty of space for it one thing that you'll notice too as you're down here on the first floor like you can see how the stairs go up you get these nice details with the wrought iron stair spindles right here it's not just like the drywall on some homes so you are getting a little bit of that upgraded feel to it continuing on downstairs right over here through this little cove you'll have your access into the garage right here again two car garage as we talked about you get about a foot on each side as well so it's not just a straight two car garage you get a little bit of space on the sides tankless water heater right here and when you see these popping out on the homes in the garage this is a pre-plumb for a water softener so in texas you want to always make sure you got a water softener we have hard mineral water if you don't want acne or you want to make sure that you get some filtered water and stuff like that make sure you get a water softener you will notice that you're um, quality of life will go up dramatically. Right here you have the laundry area. It is big enough to fit a full-size washer and dryer right here. You do get a little bit of shelving up there. Comes with the window in there too. And then right here 
is your half bathroom. So when you want to host, oops, sorry, am I getting too much in the way of the camera? I was getting a little too eager there. Uh, when you want to host and you want to have some people over, this is where you're going to send them. So you don't have to send them into the bedroom because that can sometimes get a little bit weird. Not sure if you noticed, there is a door right here behind us that leads to the backyard. So let me take you out here right now. You get a huge covered patio on this. It's kind of wrap around. Let's come out this way. There's two ways to get to the backyard. There's that one right there. And then there's the one that comes in right there from the kitchen as well. So I'm not sure if you noticed that or caught it, but I'm taking you through a full tour. Here's your backyard on this one. It is a little bit cut. Uh, you do get the stone as the back right here because this actually backs up to kind of like a main road here. You get a dual AC system. So you have two units on the outside. Actually, I take it back. I talked about it being three side masonry. It's actually four side masonry because look, you got brick right here on the back of the home as well. So again, this is a really solid product, really solid home. Again, extended covered patio. This is a lot bigger than what you typically get. So New Leaf is gonna come with a lot of kind of upgraded features for the price point that they build in. It's really hard to beat them for the price that they like to stay within. So we'll head up to the other 50% of the home. Get some nice plushy carpet, right? Making our way up the stairs. More wrought iron stair spindles as you make your way up on the banister. So once you get to the top, it opens up into the second living area, the loft, game room, flex room, whatever you wanna call it. You could throw another TV here, do another TV area, you can do a pool table, right? Whatever you're thinking, you got plenty of space right here to fit it. This right here, where we're at right now, is when you look from the front of the property, this is where that dome kind of castle looking structure comes in. Kind of the architecture, you can kind of see how it carves out with some of these notches. You could do maybe like an office setup up here, a secondary one, maybe a gaming setup. You could do quite a few things with this space. And you know, that's just what makes New Leaf a little bit more unique is they add that added architecture embedded into their designs. Another thing that you can kind of look at, like you get some of these arches where they're not just flat, some areas with some other builders, stained wood here, the varnish on it makes it look really nice. Continue forward down this hall, you get one of the first secondary bedrooms. And these are pretty good size for the bedrooms. These aren't just a standard 10, 10 by 10 or 10 by 12. Feels a little bit bigger than that, right? And then right in here, you're gonna get one of the secondary bathrooms. Pretty much Jack and Jill's from the other, the other room. You see, you got the vanity right here, solid countertops, brown cabinetry, and then a whole separate room for the actual facility and the shower. So one thing to notice is it does come with the tile work. It's not just like the standard acrylic, like when I say acrylic, like this but it would be right here, like on some of the builders. Right here, you get the towel work and get a window in here as well, just for a little bit more of a vibe, you know what I mean? So if you cut through here, oh, one thing I'll point out too, they kind of have these built-in cabinet space right here. So for towels, little things that you would potpourri, spray, whatever you might put in your bathroom, right? But a Jack and Jill is to the other secondary bedroom right here. This one's got a view of the backyard from this room, right? Pretty good size, interesting shape. You know, it's not just a straight square because there's a little bit of a cutout right here in the architecture, as you can see. Check this out, check out the doors. This is the design that they went with in the door. It's not just a flat one. This is definitely cool, it adds to the appeal of the home. In here, walk-in closet, check that out. This is on the secondary bedroom, guys. This isn't the main one. I've seen some primary bedrooms that have a primary closet that's the size of this but this is just on the secondary so heading right now oh you might be wondering what's behind this door just a linen closet so you might throw your blankets your board games things like that in there another access for your AC control and then right here you enter into the primary suite where the king or queen is gonna lay their head to rest every night you get a nice window to allow some natural light to seep in. This is a big space. I'll point out to you that it's not just a flat ceiling. It's got a little bit of a 
architect architecture design built into it some slants vaulted if you will and then arguably my favorite part of the home guys i'm so excited for you to check this out the primary bathroom check this out you got a standalone tub with the towel work around it it's actually a big size tub too towel work kind of goes along right there too need some touching up but we could always get that all worked out but look check it out you haven't you have a shower that literally goes on both sides. So follow me in. So you have a shower wood, a sh shower wood, a shower head right here. And look, it's got the tile all around right here. This is a little interesting. I might take these off. Uh, I've never seen blinds inside of the actual shower, but they put them right here. But you can take them off. You got some window to allow some natural light in, but you get a whole nother shower head right here. So this is definitely big enough for two people without getting super stuffed or crowded, you don't have to worry about it. And you get this window right here that overlooks the bathroom itself, kind of the tub, just to add to that luxury element. You really don't find this in this price range, right? This is something that you get when you start getting into the 400, 500 thousands here in San Antonio. But remember, this one is going for 399 right now. You can get a really good deal on it. Again, built-in cabinetry here, dual vanity sink, solid countertops right and then across from over here you get the actual private room for the facilities so again you could close that somebody else can be in here doing their thing it won't get too weird you're not mixing scents and then you get the big walk-in closet here big enough for that designer bag collection or that sneaker collection whatever your heart desires big enough for his and hers whatever you might fit in here if you get in trouble, you might just find yourself sleeping in here rather than in the actual suite. So make sure you're not getting in trouble at home, guys. But let me know what you think about this floor plan. Could you see yourself living in here for the $399,000 price tag? Do you think that this is a steal? I definitely think it's a great value. You don't really find anything like this that's brand new in this price point in this area. We're out here in the Alamo Ranch side. Remember I said Callison Ranch at the beginning. If you made it this far, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Again, I appreciate all of you guys. We've been seeing the channel grow. 100 subscribers will do a little mini giveaway and then gently increase that as the follower count increases. If you're looking to buy a property, if you need help selling the property, please keep us in mind as a consideration for your realtors. And again, make sure you're tuning in for the tours. We'll check you out in the next one. My info has been all throughout this video. Peace.